Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and finally Apple has released the fourth beta of iOS 16. This is actually the longest time we had to wait for a beta 4 considering the release of the first initial beta 3 of iOS 16. Not of course the re-release that happened like two weeks or so after. So in this video we're going to take a look at beta 4 and of course see what's new with this beta. New features and changes and more regarding iOS 16 beta 4. Alright, first of all, we're talking about the size of the update. Now, this update came to my device at around 1.6 gigabytes. That, of course, always will be different based on which software you have currently installed on your device and, of course, in which device you're running this software. Of course, older devices will have a smaller size update. Newer devices will always have a bigger size update. And let's also take a quick look at the build number for iOS 16 beta 4. The build number is 20A5328A. That's the new build number for iOS 16 dev beta 4. And now let's take a look at the new features and changes that you will be able to find on iOS 16 dev beta 4. But before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of the guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you find the videos useful and you like them, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And now let's start. Let's get started with the new features and changes. So you know with beta 3, Apple has introduced the new album artwork on the lock screen. Well, they made a change on beta 4 and now this is much, much bigger. So you will notice if you have beta 3 still on your device, go ahead and take a look at it. This will be way smaller and you can see right now it's way bigger. So it's about the same size here, the same actual length as the player here so it's actually quite big and it has changed you will notice the change once you install this beta from the previous beta another change here on ios 16 beta 4 on the lock screen of your device when you go to add widgets to the lock screen of your device you will notice now it says add widgets it actually has like a little plus button there used to be only a plus button in the middle of this section now it says add widgets and there are some changes on iMessage as well especially on the editing part of messages you know that Apple has allowed to actually now edit messages on iOS 16 well with iOS 16 beta 4 there is a change now it shows edited here and you can tap on it and it will actually show right there so you can see the history of that message of course what it was before it was edited now you can also unsend messages to up to two minutes so with iOS 16 of course you have the ability to unsend a message now you will be able to actually do that for up to two minutes. So two minutes after you have sent someone a message, you can actually unsend it. And another thing with iOS 16 beta 4, when it comes to editing messages, now you can actually edit a message up to five times. Of course, the whole history of the edited messages will be seen right here. So you can see right here, I only have one edit, but if I had two or three, once I tap on the message here, it will show the list of the messages, what they were before I edited them. Let's move on to the settings app. We have here a change on the settings app when you go to set your wallpaper. So when you tap on wallpaper, you know that you have now the ability to actually customize these separately. So the lock screen and of course the home screen. Now when you tap on customize, you can see if I go to customize the current wallpaper, the UI has changed right here. Now you know that the blur option was actually here. Now you have it right down here so you can enable or disable the blur for the home screen wallpaper and we have adjustments right here so of course you will have the usual things you have the original you have photos if you want to change the wallpaper and you have color and gradient but now you also have a blur button right here and under the settings app if you go to your settings go under accessibility you will find now a new section to control nearby devices now this is a new feature that apple has added with ios 16 which basically lets you control your other devices but of course also those devices need to be updated to the latest betas in order for this feature to work so from here you will actually be able to control your nearby ios and of course mac os watchOS devices. And the biggest feature of iOS 16 beta 4, Apple has just made available the live activities API for devs. 
what this means is that devs can now start creating live activity features for their apps you know what these are the ones on the lock screen right here in my opinion one of the biggest feature of ios 16 and this will make quite a big difference a lot of apps will have these and of course there are a lot of opportunities for devs to create amazing things you can see this is what we have for now this is from the clock app for ios and of course you have the controls here you have the timer you can turn it on and or off and all that directly from the lock screen so a way to actually interact with your apps directly from the lock screen or just like we saw on wwdc 2022 you have maybe a game going on like an nba game or some things like that you don't have to unlock your device you can see the live results right here on live activities now apple has made the api available with ios 16 beta 4 and this will make a big difference on ios 16. and now let's quickly talk about performance of ios 16 beta 4 while well, taking a look here at the geekbench test you can notice that it actually has a slight decrease on the multi-core score so this is a beta 3 right here 4135 while 3995 here on beta 4 i will run another test on the coming days and see if this will improve because of course the device has been actually working a lot of updating and things like that probably that has affected the score a bit while on the single core score we have almost the exact same results so 1579 while we have here 1584 so these are the scores for the performance on ios 16 beta 4 so what's next of course we have to wait a couple of days or maybe a day tomorrow we should see the public beta 2 getting released as well and then of course we need to move on to beta 5 which will most likely happen in two weeks from now so expect it to, to be somewhere around august 9th or 10th these are the dates that i should i expect actually apple to release the fifth beta of ios 16 to the devs of course apple will stay on the two week schedule for a few more betas before they move on to the one week schedule of course as we get closer to the release which of course will happen in september so that's pretty much it for this video guys this is ios 16 beta 4 of course it will have more new features and changes but we will need some time to discover them and it looks like it's actually a really interesting update with the release of the new api for live activities and of course the new features and changes this is probably a, quite a good update that will be really interesting and in the few weeks to come we should see first apps being released on test flight of course supporting live activities and see what actually devs can do with this cool new feature so that is it for the video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one